technology. We all use it and have it. I mean, you are watching this video on a phone or a laptop, and some of you are scrolling through TikTok for way longer than you should. But anyway, hi, my name is Prithuman, and I'm a volunteer here at the Brampton Library. I'm a teen who has a great passion for technology, specifically coding. And today I will be talking about how magically all of your favorite videos suddenly end up in your recommended section or the For You page on TikTok. The main points that I will be covering today are what is machine learning? How does machine learning affect you? How are industries using machine learning? And why should you know what machine learning is? Now, realistically, there are a lot of factors that play a role in getting your video onto a recommended page or even what machine learning is. So if you are an aspiring influencer, don't be sure that this is a video that is a one-way ticket to fame. Because even so, the most prominent factor in amongst all these six factors that I've written here is machine learning. Now, it all started for me when I was seven years old on YouTube, scrolling, watching my videos, and I always wondered how do the perfect videos end up in my recommended section? They're always created for me so perfectly. Now, at the, at the time, I thought it was a fancy wizard living in my computer, picking, handpicking the videos for me. But as I grew older, I got a little bit smarter, and I realized that it wasn't a wizard. In fact, it wasn't even a human. It was machine learning, specifically YouTube's algorithm. Now, I guess a lot of you are wondering what exactly that is. Well, it's machine learning. Machine learning is just one of the dozens of applications of AI. And think of machine learning as a way for a machine to imitate intelligent human behavior. And that doesn't mean you necessarily have to be smart. It's just the way that your brain thinks, acts, and behaves. These systems of AI perform tasks very similar to how a human brain computes math or how you're sitting in your geography class getting bored. Well, it's very common in psychology, and everybody in psychology knows this, that the human brain looks for patterns, specifically patterns that are mainly used for our brains to make connections with other events in our lives. Our brains are always looking for these connections to establish a permanent record in our brain so that we never forget a moment. Like the last time you went to Disneyland and you never forgot it. It's because your brain made a connection with that to another brilliant moment that you had so that you would never forget it. Our brains are, are making connections with our daily lives and our best moments to find what's right for us. Now, this is the kind of behavior that AI is trying to replicate, or you could even say directly copy, because it, the main purpose of AI is to replace humans. Now, I know that may sound scary, but it's not as bad as you think it is. It's replacing humans in the field of work, work such as industries or even commercial work. Recently, if you've heard, immigration is changing and immigration officers are being replaced with AI, specifically machine learning oriented code. Now, this might shock some of you, and some of you might already know this, but it doesn't matter. So AI is everywhere, controlling everything that we do, and it affects every part of our life. Mainly, the biggest bit being social media. Now, machine learning is behind all the chatbots, predictive, predictive tests, like when you're texting your friend and it tells you to write, oh my God, or something like that. Language translation apps, and even the shows that Netflix recommends to you after you liked one show or watched, or keep on watching the same genre of shows. And same goes for YouTube. On YouTube, the videos you watch, depending on what channel you like, your content type, and all of that, all gets created into one code so that that AI can create your perfect recommended page. And this also goes the same way for TikTok. And even Siri will create these Siri shortcuts based on what you do every day with your phone. If you text someone, it will create that as a shortcut. If you watch this certain video on YouTube, it might create that. If you spend way too much time on an app, it'll create a shortcut for that as well. 
Now, whether you realize it or not, machine learning is heavily involved with our lives, specifically the entertainment industry. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that everything you do on the internet is controlled by AI, but a majority of the videos you watch and the things you do are. These industries often will use three subfields, you can say, of machine learning, which are supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement. These are all fancy terms, and I can break them down for you real quick. Supervised learning models are basically models that are given labeled data sets so that the AI doesn't find new information. Instead, it builds off of the information that's already given to it. Quite neat, huh? Then unsupervised. Unsupervised AI basically means that it's finding patterns, it's finding data that you may not have been looking for, but it finds it in unlabeled data sets. So really, it's just information that's pretty neat to know. Reinforcement is completely on the other side of the spectrum, where it has nothing related to sets. Instead, it's just trial and error. Basically, it will repeat multiple algorithms, complete compute multiple tasks, and at the end, it will find the best possible action that you can take or anything can take in terms for the AI. An example for each of these would be for supervised, you have over time, if you have an app that tells you what items are recyclables or not, it over time get, gathers all that data, builds on it, and finds common similarities. For unsupervised, that would be when companies tell you that 80% of our clients are from the commercial sector and all sorts of information like that. Reinforcement, however, is a little bit tricky because it's very case specific. You can't really find a specific example for it. Now, here we have our top three social media apps, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Now, I'm guessing all of you have at least seen, heard, or so much money. Why do they need to create AI generated content or anything like that when they can just hire a bunch of people to do that for them? Well, the simple reason is major corporations like these want money. They want to save money. When you're a major corporation, you need to give a lot of people money. You need to pay your taxes and a lot of that stuff. Machine learning is a way to buy cut a lot of that because it's so reliable. You're not forced with the human disadvantages of getting sleep or not working the whole day. Machine learning works the whole day. It doesn't need rest. It works 24 seven and it provides consistent results almost every time. And then money. Machine learning is oftentimes a one-time investment. You don't need to constantly be paying and like an employee like you do with AI. It costs less over time in the long run and it's a lot more smooth and reliable for the actual daily consumer. Now, at the end of this, we see that AI, daily life, and industries all play a major purpose in our society. Now, realistically, you don't need to work at these big corporations in the machine learning sectors, and that's the only way you need to know this information. You just need to know that AI is with you, and it's probably listening to you right now. Don't worry, you can turn off your phone and it won't. But the next time you see a perfect movie or a video on Netflix or YouTube, you'll know how it ended up there. And you won't be wondering, why did it end up there? And I should say, what put it there? Thank you for watching.